Ladies and gentlemen, Min Ji Lee and Min Woo Lee coming in together. We thought it'd be appropriate for them in a, uh, the first ever Australian Open to be held with men and women playing together at the same time on the same course to bring them in together. They are the, I guess, the most famous siblings in golf around the world. So uh, it's great to have them here this week. Uh, I'll ask both of you first uh, what your feelings are about playing in this uh, historic event. Uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty. It's pretty cool to be able to, um, you know, play with the men and all, and also the all abilities um, tournament. I guess it's going on all at the same time, and um, just obviously playing with Min Woo and being able to see him is really special to me. And um, just being back in Australia, I think, is really cool. Um, I haven't played in a couple years um, back home, so I think it's going to be a great turnout and. I'm looking forward to seeing um, all the fans come out and maybe a lot of little kids here and there. No, I think it'll be really fun. Yeah, yep, same thing. Um, just to see the fam, I think, is, is a special thing. Um, just We don't get to see each other that much, so just to put the band together, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, we don't get to do that uh, that often, so it is very cool. And then we can spend Christmas together, so uh, I think it with the schedule and all that, it works really well. And, yeah, just I mean, it brings everyone together, which is awesome, and uh, what we what we want and what we need. So, um, and especially in Australia, playing in front of the home crowd, and uh, yeah, it was special last week, and I'm sure this week will be even even better. Matisse here has some microphones. If anyone wants to ask a question, which is much better for the transcript. So, Russell Gould. Can I just ask both of you, what's the interaction been so far this week, sort of on course more than off course? And Because uh, Linda lead up, both of you weren't sure what it would do for your games, being here together and playing together, so I'm just sure, wondering what it's been like so far this week. Uh, you said on the course? Yeah, on the course. Uh, we played a practice round with um, Scotty and Hayden um, together at Kingston. Um, I, think, I thought that was really fun. I actually haven't played that much golf with Min Woo, to be fair. Um, so just seeing him play and, um, you know, uh, seeing him go about his business. I think it's really cool to see, um, just to experience um, that with him. Um, and, you know, he's grown up a lot since the last time I played with him. So, yeah, no, it's been good. Does it remain sort of brother and sister or do you have to be a bit professional as well, knowing there is a fairly significant trophy at stake or is it all about, you know, brother and sister trash talking and trying to egg each other on? Oh, uh, um, yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty chill yesterday. We didn't, we weren't too serious. Uh, we just, no. It was just we kind just, of getting to know the course just, and yeah. playing around. Um, More brother sister. Yeah, I don't think we wanted to yeah. bet just because we wanted. We didn't know the course that well, and we just wanted to play. Um, and especially Scotty in the group and Young Hayden. It was it was good fun. Mm -hmm. um, we leave the trash talk for off the course. <laughs> me, me, where you've always spoken about the rivalry, though. So following on from that, will there be a Wager or anything on the line <laughs> once the tournament starts? Nah, not really. Bragging um, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm in hot form, so hopefully I can uh, hopefully I can pip her this week. But um, it would be nice to both be holding the trophy, which would be really cool. Uh, but no, we're just. I think you know our mindset going in is just to enjoy and have fun. And um, you know the Australian crowd hasn't had a tournament here in a while, and I think we we want to put on a show and uh, let them enjoy it. And Minji, for you touching on coming back to Australia after so long away. Does that add to the drive to win on home soil on top of the accomplishments you've already done over the last few years? I think the Australian Open, like your national championship, is always really high on the list. So um, for me, I always want to do well. And the past, um, pre the previous um, Aussie Opens that I have played, I think I haven't quite shown that as much. Um, so hopefully I can, you know, settle the nerves and, you know, just, um, you know, enjoy it and just play, play well for me and play well for like the Australian crowd. Darren Wall. Minji, how's the energy levels? You've had a, a pretty grueling season. You haven't had your best results the last couple of months, but you're obviously outstanding prior to that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I finished um, CME and then I had a week off. Uh, came and did the US Open Trophy Tour, which was really cool. Um, you know, had a pretty chill last couple of days, so. Um, I feel okay. Uh, you know, it's the end of the season. You're you're going to be tired, but I guess a lot of the girls who did come down from America or you know Greenie and stuff, we're all kind of tired. So um, we're we're always going to just do our very best. So yeah, no, hopefully I have a great week. 
I mean, how's the transition from plain Queensland on grainy greens and everything like that to pure surfaces out here? Oh, um, it's, it, it is amazing. The courses are really cool. Um, it's been a while since that, you know, that hard green surface, um, even the fairway. So now I'm really excited to play. Uh, it's, I don't think it's overly that firm, uh, but the greens are pretty, pretty narrow and thin. So, uh, not much grain and, you know, like I said, putting's already hard and to put grain onto greens, it's even harder. So, uh, I like, I like to putt not on grain. Did, did Scotty have any advice for both of you about playing the sandbelt and tournament golf? Because I don't imagine you play a lot down here in big events. Mm, no, not really. We just enjoyed I think seeing each other's shots. Yeah, we didn't. We probably played more than him. Yeah. On Maybe. Yeah. How, yeah. how much has he played? I mean, yeah. I did, but... I, I mean, I played amateur tournaments here. Yeah. I haven't been here that much since professional, yeah. uh, except Vic Open. But, um, no, I just we just enjoyed and had fun. A bit of banter and watch him pure it like always. Yeah. Dave, <laughs> Min, how are you feeling? You've done a lot of travel in the last six weeks or so. Uh, no, I feel good. I mean, any time having home cooking and... Uh, in front of hundreds and thousands of people, I mean, it's it's pretty special, and just the energy levels just rise up somehow. Um, it is it is a really good atmosphere, which I which I love playing in front of, and I mean, you can't really be tired or down when there's a lot of people watching. So uh, it's you know you get a bit of adrenaline just from that, and uh, it's nice. I think this this is the final tournament of the year, but I'll be I'll be ready to go. Fraser, just on your years at this point you've still got this major tournament to go but do you start to look back on how your year has gone and and start to reflect on on the year that's been uh, for me yes um, I did a little bit but I knew I had one more to go so um, you know I always reflect back on you know my wins and just the great moments that I've had this year just to you know give me a little bit of inspiration and motivation so you know I I like to do that I suppose, does, does that give you motivation in a, in a tournament like this when you are feeling fatigued looking back and going, you know, I've had, I've had this year that's been so successful? Yeah, I just, I think for both of us, we've had pretty good, very good years. So, um, yeah, to look back and, you know, just give this one a hot crack. Um, doesn't really matter how it goes. We're obviously really happy with the way everything's gone this year and we're looking for a rest, but this is obviously a really big event uh, in the schedule and we want to do well in our home open so no, we're looking forward to it um, we may be tired but I think we're we're looking forward to how the week goes Adam? I'll leave this question open to either of you guys um, we've got obviously got a historic event this week men and women playing alongside each other do you think we'll scope for one of the bigger two is to have an event where men and women are playing on the same team together whereas in the US or Europe and you guys can team up in whatever format that might be? I think there was like some conversation, but I'm not sure how far along it has gone. But you know, um, it would be pretty cool, I think, if they did, if they were to put PGA and LPGA or women and men um, events on an international scale together. But you know, it's something that I, I'm not sure if I can kind of control. But um, I guess if more players are more interested in those kind of things, then maybe we'd get the conversation rolling a bit faster. <laughs> It, it it would be nice to have a partner that hits every fairway and every green and you can just lash at it. So, uh, <laughs> no, it'll be, I, I mean, uh, whenever it comes, uh, I'll be excited for it. It's, uh, like, again, the family's probably going to be there, which is always key. And, um, yeah, we don't get to see each other. So that would be, that would be amazing. And to play, play with each other, that would be cool because we don't really get to do that only in tournaments like this and the Vic Open. So... Uh, hopefully the bigger tours or this tour just keeps doing it and we can keep playing as a family. Minji, you've loved this tournament since you're a little girl. You've always been, you know, helping, not coming back and doing well. You've come close. Mm -hmm. Why is it different this year? Why can you take the next step? I'm not sure if it is different. Um, you know, it's still my national open. I mean, it may not be LPGA now, right now, but... Um, I think it always has a kind of special place um, in my heart. So, and I always love coming back to Australia and playing. So um, we don't get too many opportunities to do that. So whenever I get the chance, I do like coming back. Walk us through the ISPS Handa connection, Min, and both of you. Um, it's pretty important this week for the for the brand as well. Yeah, no, I think it's a 
you know, they do such a good job with these tournaments. Um, obviously, everyone's playing the disability, men's and women's together as, as one. I, that's just how golf should be, um, I think. Yeah, yeah we can always keep coming back to family and uh, being together. And I think just seeing seeing familiar faces from when amateur days and new faces as well. I mean, that's that's what we want. And I think, you know, being part of such a strong team and ambassadors, uh, it's it's awesome. And I hope they can keep going. Who's rocking the Who's rocking the fashion the best? I don't know. I think I think I'll. I'm I think pretty. Uh, she's always I like fashionable. Sim like I like simple, neat, you know. But yeah. Minwoo has like a little. Yeah, I like a bit of bit bolder colors. Um, the, the, this is this is fresh, so I I'm, I'm, I have to start rocking it. And um, I've been getting a lot of winter stuff and a lot of not summer stuff. But everywhere I go is summer, so I can't really wear sweaters and stuff. So yeah. it's nice to actually have a bit of cold weather and show off these uh, yeah, like these the, colors. The back's kind of yeah, a bit bold, cool. you know. How <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about the draw, guys? You're only teeing off three groups apart, I think, half an hour apart. How, how's the family going to split that up? Oh, uh, they already talked about it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Uh, <laughs> they said a cut few with me first and then yeah, Tim and Wu. Yeah. Whoever's playing better, I guess. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Um, no, it is cool. We were looking at the draw and hopefully we weren't on the other side. Um, but. It will, it will be good. It's easier, obviously, for the parents to walk mm -hmm. around and uh, people who want to see both of us. Um, but it'll be nice yeah, it'll be good. when the when the fans finish them. They have to come see me <laughs> for three holes. <laughs> if there's no more, we might try Min's idea actually. So right. Min have the idea that they will an answer for each other. So Min, uh, who's your greatest rival on the LPGA? Oh, um, no one, because I'm the best and I don't have rivals. Um, I won the US Open pretty easy. Uh, I was so confident, didn't feel any nerves. And uh, yeah, it's just, um, you know, young girls are coming through. But yeah, I just, uh, I just like to have fun and, and win and dominate. Kirsty, help, help me out with one for Minji, if you can. Kirst, um, or Aisy. What's it like having... Min, as a younger brother who's obviously oozing with confidence out there as well, you reckon you can easily knock him off if it came down to it? My bigger sister. Oh, wait. Uh, that was oh, was it for me? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh okay. What was the question again? <laughs> oh, a lot. Sorry, on the spot. Just saying, oh, maybe for Minji then. Just yeah. obviously Min's oozing with confidence out there. You reckon it's pretty easy to sort of knock him off and put him in his place on the golf course? So the opposite, right? Wait, um, the opposite. Yeah, yeah. you're talking. Like, you're talking, talking about yourself. Think, you're I talking about <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you gotta pretend you're. I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty confident, you know. I, I think my my sister is pretty good, but yeah. Um, you know, I have pretty great yeah, skills in my bag, so uh, <laughs> you know, I think um, if we play together, I can hit it that much further than her, and you know, my chipping and playing is pretty good too, so. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I can give it, give it a good crack. Hazy's <laughs> <laughs> got one too, Richard. Minwoo. Yeah. Okay. Is, do, you, do you think you're spending too much time on social media and stingers? Nah, nah. That's that's how I get my fans. Yeah. All my support. You know, they love my stingers. That's how. That <laughs> <laughs> that's what pays the bills. That's what pays the bills. Yeah. <laughs> Any more? Yeah. Minwoo, do you like gaming or golf? Oh, uh, you know, gaming's pretty, pretty cool. But I think uh, I'm a little bit better at golf. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you like better? <laughs> um, Probably golf, right? <laughs> golf. But. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gaming's pretty good. <laughs> On the off, off course, it's 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 gaming. <laughs> Minji, when uh, your brother Min stays with you at your house in Dallas? Is he messy and is he hard to get off the... Yes, he is very <laughs> messy. He's, he's like a snake. He sheds his clothes everywhere and he he's a mess. But I love him so much and he's the best. Um, makes life so fun and it's boring and lonely sometimes in my own house and it's nice to have my brother in the house. <laughs> He has a 10, uh, 10 p.m. curfew for his games. Yeah. He has to shut it off then. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for that, and thanks to oh, the siblings, Lise. Thanks, uh, guys. Thanks, that. guys. Cheers. <laughs>